Hello class. Okay, it's Friday. I hope everybody um, did okay this week. Um, as you saw, we kind of slowed things down, going at a little bit slower pace. Um, that's how we're going to continue moving forward. Um, don't forget to turn in the uh, assigned problem from Wednesday today. Make sure you turn it in with this assignment. Um, today's assignment is really just going to do this together. Um, so it's going to be an ACE exam question, um, similar to some of the ones we've already seen. Um, the variables X, Y, and Z can take on only positive values, and such that Z is equal to 3X plus 2Y, and XY is equal to 600. Okay, so this is what we have to work with. Part I show that Z can be written as this equation. So we're obviously going to do some kind of combination between these two. And then chapter 12 stuff. So find the stationary value of Z and determine its nature. Okay, so let's get started with part I. Show that Z, um, if you're taking notes, go ahead and pause it, copy this down. And I want you to go ahead and try I and double I on your own. You should be able to do these now. Uh, we've gone through these all week. So go ahead and do that now, and then I will go over it. Okay, so part I. Show that Z is equal to 3X plus 12, uh, 1200 over X. Okay, so we have this equation for Z. We want to turn it into this equation. 3X and 3X the same, so that tells me I'm not going to mess with X. But then this changed, okay? We have an X now where we did have a Y. So that tells me this little extra uh, equation we have here, I'm going to use this to get rid of this y. So I want to solve this for y. Okay, so x, y equals 600. I'm just going to divide by x. And I get that for y. I'm going to take this and replace this y with 600 over x. So z equals 3x plus 2, okay, which is just simply distribute the 2, 1200 over x. Okay, so pretty simple. Especially for H problem, that was pretty simple. Okay, so that's part I. Double I, find the stationary value of Z, means we've got to find X first, and then we're going to determine its nature. Okay, so stationary value is when the derivative is set equal to zero. So, take the derivative of this. First, I'm going to rewrite this using a negative exponent. Okay, remember to take the derivatives, you have to have exponents. So instead of writing this as 1200 over x, I write it as 1200 times x to the negative one. And so z prime is derivative of three x is just three bring down the negative one, and then subtract one, okay? So z prime is three minus over x squared. Okay, so now we set that equal to zero, and we solve for x. This term here is negative. I'm going to add it to the other side. I gotta get this x squared out of the bottom, so I'm going to multiply it over. Divide by three. And then take the square root of each side. Plus or minus 20. Okay, now it says x, y, and z can only be positive. So I can rule out the negative. So it's just going to be positive 20. Okay, so hopefully you did that. Check your work with this work. Okay, now let's determine the nature. So to determine nature, remember we take values less than, greater than this. So x less than 20 and x greater than 20. Now I can't choose zero because I can't have a zero in the denominator. So I'm going to pick one. Zero is the easiest. One's 
just as easy. And something greater than 20, you can use like 21, 22, but honestly, if you use 100, that makes it pretty easy because then it's the same thing multiplying by 1, just with two extra zeros. Okay, so when I plug in x equals 1 into the derivative, I get 3 minus 1200, so that's a, definitely a negative number, so I have a negative slope. And then 3 minus 1200 divided by 100 squared, so this becomes 1200 over a thousand. Uh, over 10,000, so it's a really small number. So we have a positive slope. So we have negative slope and then a positive slope. So it's a minimal. Okay, now I want to show you one little trick. Um, you don't have to use this. Um, if you're find, finding the nature maximum minimums this way, good, this will always work, and you can do this no matter what. There is another way that you can find maximum or minimum. And in some cases, this works a little bit easier. In some cases, it may not work easier. For most of the problems you will have in ACE math, though, this will work most of the time. So, remember, if we take the derivative of z to get z prime, or dz dx, that gives you the gradient. Well, it gives you a formula for the gradient, and then you plug in the x value, and you get the actual gradient, slope or negative. Now, if you take the derivative of the gradient, so if you do, that's a squared, so d squared z over dx squared, so two derivatives. So we take the derivative of z to get z prime, and then we take the derivative of z prime, and we get the second derivative. That will tell you maximum or minimum. Okay? So let's test that out. Let's take this and let's take the derivative of that. Uh, I'm going to do that right here. Okay, so z prime. So z double prime or second derivative. Okay, so derivative 3 is 0. It might be better to take the derivative using this one. So derivative 3 is 0. Bring it down the negative 2. We get positive 2 times 1200. And then subtract 1. Okay. So it's 2400x to the negative 3 or 2400x cubed. You say, okay, so what does that tell us? Well, as long as this is positive, okay, so it's like a quadratic. Is the x positive or negative? Well, the x is positive. So you have a positive parabola. So you know this is a minimum. If this was negative, then you would have it, if this was negative, you would have it like this. If it's positive, it's this. So if the second derivative ever, is ever negative, you have a maximum. If it's positive, you have a minimum. Okay? So, use either way. Use the method that we've been using, or you can use the second derivative method. It's really up to you, whichever one you prefer. Um, if the numbers are easy, then this way is easy. But sometimes if you have to pick some weird numbers, or yeah, or the equation is a lot more difficult than this, and it's not so easy to just plug in one. Maybe this is a better option. Okay, if you have questions about either of these, um, message me on Teams, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And don't forget to turn in those two assignments from Wednesday. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you all on Monday.